Let's do a problem from section 4.7, lab assignment. Um, 4.7 is a section on optimization, and here I have the step-by-step -step process for solving optimization problems. Optimization problems are really just a family of problems that ask you to maximize or minimize something. And so, in the step-by-step -step process, it's asking you to understand the problem if necessary or if it applicable, draw a diagram, uh, introduce notation, and out of the notation you're going to find your function to optimize. So this is really one of the keys. Uh, if you have a domain that you can include, that would be great also. And then there's going to be some other relationships between um, your function and the other variables that you defined. You want to put these relationships together so that your function uh, that you're going to optimize is only a function of one variable. And then out of that, you can find your absolute max and min. And if you're including a domain, then uh, a possibility for the max and min would be your endpoints. Okay, our problem is asking us to find two numbers whose difference is 134 and whose product is a minimum. So this is your key product is a minimum. So uh, that's kind of moving us towards this uh, function that you're going to optimize. So you have two numbers, x and y, and that's going to uh, uh, x times y is what you're going to try to maximize or minimize in this case. Uh, let's see what the step-by-step -step process they ask us to do. Two numbers have a difference of 134, then one of them is going to be x um, plus 134. And the other is going to be, well, you, so you want to subtract them so that you get 134. So the other one is probably going to be x. So your two numbers are x. I would have chosen x to be my first number and y. And then the constraint is that x minus y is 134 and then that would have given me the same thing. It says here the product of the two numbers can be simplified uh, by multiplying them so x times x is x squared that's the power and then x times uh, 134 is 134 times x. So this is the function that you're going to uh, optimize so we actually use a constraint without really identifying the constraint and then we have our, the function that we're trying to optimize is now in one variable so now we just find the absolute max and min. By the way x cannot be negative um, or maybe it can be so uh, the if the domain if we just looked at positive numbers then we know the domain is going to be x it has to be bigger than zero um, but there's some other built-in constraints here that we can also try to identify. Uh, the derivative of x squared is 2x, and the derivative of 134x is 134. So this is a linear function. If we set this equal to 0, uh, we're going to get one value for x. So if we bring the 134 over to the other side, that would be a negative 134. And then you divide that by 2, that'll be a negative 67. And so that must be one of our numbers. Um, uh, so negative 67 is a... Negative 67 is a critical point for us. Uh, now we could check that critical point if that critical point is a maximum or minimum. Um, but you can see that this parabola, this is a, it's a parabola that's going upward, and so this must be a minimum at 67. And so uh, to double check that, we take our value or our first derivative here and take the derivative of that to get a second derivative and second derivative is a 2 not just a 2 but a positive 2 so this parabola is always going to be opening upward which makes sense um, so we have an absolute 
minimum at x equals negative 67. So the two numbers um, are as follows. So x is negative 67 and the other number is negative 67 plus 134. So if we um, if we put negative 67 there, it's just basically 134 minus 67, which is positive 67. So those are our two numbers. So two numbers whose difference is 134 and whose product is a minimum. And the product here is uh, 67 times 67, um, whatever that might turn out to be. Let's take a quick look at the graph of this. Uh, the function that we came up with is um, x squared. This is the function that we're maximizing or minimizing. x squared minus uh, 30, 134x. So x squared minus 134x. So this is our graph. Let's uh, zoom out. Oops, zoom out a little bit and see if we can find out what's really happening uh, here. Is uh, 134. Um, now I want to find out where this minimum value is because that minimum value is going to be the product of them. So. Um, if we keep zooming out, it looks like I still can't see it down there. Let's 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 try taking stabs at it. I mean, we could just put in our values and see how far we go. But let's uh, let's put in a thousand, negative a thousand. Uh, still can't see it. Let's go two thousand. Still can't see it. Let's go four thousand. Getting closer. <laughs> let's go five thousand. Here we go. So this is our minimum value when x is equal to 67. The product, uh, 67 times 67 is uh, 4489. And one of them is positive, one of them is negative. So here's our negative value. So this is the minimum product uh, between those values that have that constraint. OK, hope that helps.